Hey all you users out there, welcome back to DIY Annette. It is 29 degrees with light snow flurries here in beautiful rural Avella, Pennsylvania. The time is 9.43. It's Tuesday, even though it's actually Wednesday. So it's time for another quick tip. In our two most recent projects, we had to cut some two by fours to make some stakes to hold up uh, first the candy canes, I'm um, sorry, I keep saying candy canes, candy corns and pumpkins for the uh, Halloween project. And then uh, now we're working on the Snoopy's Doghouse project for Christmas. And we had to cut a strip off a two by four in order to make the stakes to hold the uh, characters up. Stakes will go into the ground, the character slides down over them. I cut these on the table saw but it occurred to me that you may run into a problem if you're trying to do it with a circular saw. Um, you, can use, you can cut one strip off without too much trouble, but when, you, uh, when it gets too narrow, there's not going to be enough uh, board left to make the saw stable on the, on the wood, and uh, you're going to get a crappy cut, but more importantly, um, if the saw is wobbling, that is extremely dangerous. It can jump back at you and, and hurt you very badly. So uh, that uh, you may run into a problem with that. What you can do is if you have another piece of wood, in this case a 2x4, uh, that is the same width, same, I'm sorry, the same thickness of the, as the board you're cutting, you can lay that alongside it. And this way, as you go across there, uh, you'll still have plenty of width so that the, uh, the base of the saw has something to ride on. Um, what you also want to do is, when you're doing this, you want to want to put a clamp on the far end of it so the boards are not sliding and they're not moving about. Uh, actually, something that would not be a bad idea is to take the, uh, the auxiliary board that you're leaning on and uh, Put a screw in each end into your saw horses if you have them, or into your crickets if you're using your crickets. And uh, this way, this we know this won't move. And then if you put, once you have the auxiliary piece secured, you can uh, put a clamp on the end of the piece you're cutting. And go as far as you can with it, whether you're using the saw horses like I am here, or are down with your crickets. And uh, once that is done what you can do is uh, unclamp that, move it forward so that the uh, part you want to finish the cut on is overhanging the end. Put the clamp on the other end and then go and finish your cut. So that will allow you to safely uh, cut a thin strip off this if you do not have a table saw. Here's the setup. The uh, auxiliary board is on the right. You can see that it's screwed down to the saw horses so it doesn't move. Uh, when I shot this, I didn't realize that uh, I'd actually put the board I was going to cut in, which is on the left in this picture, uh, in the wrong position. The ends uh, closest to you should be uh, aligned with the uh, auxiliary board so that, uh, as this is shown here, it, uh, both board, the two boards together completely support the bottom of the saw. And you can see the uh, cut line on the uh, right side there. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.